Welcome to our Sakata vegetable production series. Opis versus hybrid. Open pollinated versus hybrid. Very, very important. I cannot stress this enough. This is most probably one of the most important topics when you look at seed selection and what you need to plant and at the end of the day what your yield is going to be. So Lolo is going to tell us a little bit more. Stay tuned for this one. Lolo, how are you doing? Good in yourself. No, good, good. Right. Age-old debate. I'm saying age-old debate. Since we've gotten into really technology-driven uh, um, seeds versus the old way of doing things, the more conventional thing. First, tell me what's the difference between open pollinated seeds and hybrids? Okay, a uh, very good question and a very common question. Um, I want to add a third one onto that. There's also GMO. I yeah. need to stress that hybrids are not GMOs. So Explain to me. So let's, let's do that one first. Okay. What is GMOs? Let's do that one first and let's get it out of the way because there's this negative connotation around GMOs. Uh -huh. So GMOs is anything where we take a gene from a different species and then yeah. we put it into another species. So you go take a jellyfish and you take a gene out of jellyfish, you put it in your tomato so your tomato can glow. Oh. Uh, you, take a, <laughs> you take a gene from an elephant, put it in your watermelon so that you've got big watermelon. That's genetically modified. So that's what they do on a microscopic level. They genetically modify that, but that's not hybrids. That is not hybrids. So hybrids come in from uh, the breed. So those are, are literally bred. Um, the best example and the example that I like to use most, which people um, tend to understand, is with the donkey and a horse yeah so they used to breed donkeys and horses and the reason for that is that there were desirable traits from both the donkey and the horse the donkey is resistant to a lot of diseases and the donkeys are very strong but the horses are fast and the horses are not so bad looking you know i, I, I hear you <laughs> yeah. like myself <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly so you know when, when they bred the horse and the donkey they would get a mule which would have the strength of a donkey. It would have a resistance to disease like a donkey, but it's as fast as a horse, and it's not as bad looking like a horse. And then with, with time, if I understand this correctly, they, they discovered that if they use certain donkeys with certain traits and certain horses with certain traits, then you will get that mule that's actually, that's the business. That is correct. That is very and is much that correct. exactly what you're doing? Let's say cabbage, for example. So you take um, certain cabbages with certain traits and other traits and you cross them and then at the end of the day you get this uh, um, this cabbage that's resistant to diseases and I know specifically bursting um, if you can explain to people a little bit more what bursting is but I know that open pollinated versus hybrids the hybrids tend not to burst that is that is very much correct you mentioned diseases I mean with your cabbages if you've got things like disease resistance like black rot which is a big uh, common disease on cabbages that is something that there's no chemicals that you can use to control so when you've got uh, a hybrid you know you can now deal with that type of uh, and it's disease. got resistance it's got resistance to that that's the first thing when it comes to bursting or as some of us refer to it as bolting is when it cracks open and it wants to take out the the, the flowers so usually with the open pollinated that bolting or that bursting happens much sooner than with the hybrids with the hybrids that have a longer field holding capacity so if you've got a problem maybe uh you don't want to take your things to the market soon because you're still waiting for the price to improve or any issue of that case you do not have the stress of thinking oh my cabbages are going to burst in the field you've got a longer time uh, for them to stay in the field when they are hybrid seed other question is around that you touch on harvesting does it also happen with the hybrids that they uh, um, that they get uh, um, to the point of harvesting um, all at the same time versus your OPs will be here and there and there. That is very much correct. So the uniformity and the quality of hybrids is better. So especially if I can give you an example with butternuts, you would find that most of the hybrid butternuts, the size, the shape would be almost uniform, whereas with open pollinated, the size varies a lot, which makes marketing a bit more difficult. And another thing that makes it more difficult with butternuts is that you'd get smaller fruit. So to fill a 10 kg bag, you'd need about 16 to 18 fruit whereas with the normal hybrids you use anything between 8 to 12 fruit in the same bag uh, and at the end of the day I'm just getting X amount of fruit per plant that I'm planting at the end of the day and if that is a small thing and I'm only so then I'm in, ex in essence wasting my seed that is correct that's what I come want to come back to now to the economics of this because um, open pollinated is a lot cheaper than your hybrid seeds are yeah and now it's feeling to me like but these seeds they look the same and the plants they look the same 
But in terms of ROI at the end of the day, am I going to make my money back? That's what I want to know. That is a very good question. Uh, I'll, I'll not mention any names, but there are some stores that when you walk into and for instance want to buy shoes, you are aware that these shoes are going to last me for two months. And there are some stores when you walk in there, you know that these should last me about five years. You know, And the difference between those two products is the quality of them. So when we're talking hybrids, we're talking high quality or premium seed, which have got disease resistance, which in turn then gives you better quality fruit and higher yields. You know, so the return on investment of hybrids is worth it. Uh, if I can go back to instance for butternuts, for example, the difference in yield would be between, for instance, for open pollinated, you get about 25 tons per hectare. With the hybrids, you can get up to 55 tons per hectare. Another thing that can differ between you, somebody using hybrid and somebody you're using open pollinated are the chemicals. Because the person with the hybrid has got that disease resistance package, whereas the person with the open pollinated doesn't. So they're gonna have to, and most likely buy more chemicals and apply more chemicals to their plants. And the other thing is, in terms of you were speaking about uniformity of fruit and so forth, um, then when we're looking on a pricing side, um, except for the yield and the amount of, let's say, butternuts that I'm getting, um, could it also be that I get a premium because I'm delivering a product that's consistent, that's exactly the same versus here and there, and then the market just goes like, you know what, but I'm just going to have to do a batch price now on this instead of a per fruit price. That is definitely correct. And you know, to add on to that, other things which we, we speak about quality is the shelf life. Your hybrids would have a longer shelf life, which allows you to get to markets which because are further. Because it was specifically bred for that. That is correct. Okay, versus your other ones. And that's why the market also tends to want the hybrids versus the open pollinator. That is very much correct. Awesome. Lolo, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, right. Open pollinated versus hybrid. No brainer don't have to say anything else but if you've got any questions this is most probably one of the uh, um, the best decisions you'll make in your life is basically planting hybrids and not an open pollinated but if you've got any questions comment below or we'll put a link on top you can get in contact with Sakata on top below depending on where you're watching and make sure that you get in contact with him if you're unsure but Listen, I've seen a bunch of these things. Hybrid, no question, that's the future. This is from our Sakata vegetable production series. There's a few more videos coming. Make sure you catch them all. Till next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.